Neurologists uh, diagnose patients. They treat patients with medications or with physical therapy or other approaches. Uh, occasionally, a patient may need a, an operation, and they might, in that circumstance, work with an orthopedist or a neurosurgeon to take care of the patient. But neurologists, in general, do not do procedural things. They may, may do some procedural diagnosis. But by and large, the neurologist is what is known as a cognitive specialist. It means someone who listens to the patient and tries to figure out from what the patient tells them what's wrong and then examines the patient to determine where the disease is located so that the neurologist is a diagnostic specialist and a therapeutic specialist using medications and other approaches but generally not surgical approaches. What types of diseases do neurologists treat? Well we treat some of the commonest and most severe diseases that afflict uh, humankind. We, we uh, treat patients with stroke. This is the third leading cause of disability and we treat patients with Alzheimer's disease of which there are something like five million people in the United States now and which that number will quadruple over the next several decades. So that we, and then think diseases like Parkinson's disease which affects three percent of older patients. These are, are the, some of the big three that we treat but then there are many others. Multiple sclerosis, headache, epilepsy, uh, and, uh, and actually that's, there are some 7,000 rare diseases that affect, that affect people and 5,000 of them are neurological. So that there are literally thousands of neurological diseases that need the care of neurologists.